Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I actually have a mic. It's the big ass thing in front of me. I hope this gives you guys better sound and as I create content and figure out how to tweak this thing and make sound better for you guys, I am going to do that. So uh, what I wanted to do today was take you through the Faster uh, faster Payments Task Force. Uh, they put out this, this document in 2017 and I want to go through it with you because I, I, I took some time and I went through every single piece of technology. I did this years ago, but I wanted to do it again to get a refresher and uh, I, 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 did, I did some extra digging this, this time and uh, I found some interesting stuff that I think I should show you. Uh, I want to show you all the technologies that they were testing for FedNow uh, way back when and show you kind of some cool connections I found. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I uh, Let's get straight into it because I, there ain't no other time for bullshit. Let's go. All right. All right. So U.S. Faster Payments document. I was going to say task force again, but document. Final report. Part one of the faster payment. So this is a final report, right? So they were working for a couple years. This is 2017 and here's the final report. So let's go through this final report. Let me show you this. Check this out. Frickle, frickle, frickle. All right, so they have a lot of good information here, kind of what the what 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 representation do they have in the task force, kind of uh, government end users, business end users, kind of uh, you know other industry segments, small small financial instrument uh, instru institutions. There's all kinds of players in this, guys, and I'll show you all, all who those players are. Uh, but this is all the stuff that they're trying to work on: accessibility, usability, predictability. Right? They had a, they had a, trying to go through all of these different things: resiliency, security. This is all super important stuff. But let me show you what they're kind of replacing here what they want to do let me here let's scroll down here this is such a big document 62 pages and there's a lot of great information and i'll try to include this in the notes in the description too okay um all right let me just keep scrolling down here scrolling down here all right so kind of U.S. payments landscape. So this is what it looks like in the U.S. Debit cards really took off uh, during this time period. Uh, you know, credit card usage was a little bit lower, ACH, uh, and checks were on a massive decline, right? No one's going to use checks anymore, right? Checks are outdated. Um, but let me let me let me scroll down. There's just it's a, it's a lot of information here, guys. So let me just scroll down. All right, um, these are other global faster payment systems around the globe, right? So you actually have uh, Japan, Switzerland, Iceland, South Korea. They've all had uh, some type of uh, quicker instant payment system or faster payment system. It could be intraday, same days, that kind of thing. Um, hold on, let me scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. I guess all the juicy stuff's kind of at the end here. Okay, so who is on? The, the task force, right? Who is the participant roster? But you know, you're not gonna know a lot of these names. I don't know a lot of these people, but you're gonna know some of these companies, right? All right, check it out. Uh, you got a lot of banks on here. There's Kroger. I, I don't, it's a grocery store somewhere in America. Uh, you have Ripple here with Ryan Zagone representing. US Bank, Walmart stores is on here. Uh, you have ACI Worldwide. We know who ACI is on this channel. Uh, you got American Express, American, American Bankers Association. Uh, I mean, if you just scroll through this list, guys, and you look at all of these, these people, what you're not going to find is another blockchain infrastructure company. Ripple's the only one on here, okay? Uh, which is pretty, pretty interesting stuff. But uh, let me just scroll down here. Uh, these are all the participants, and, all, and you guys can go through this by yourself slowly, but you have JP Morgan on here, representation. You have basically people from all over the industry in the United States, okay? Um, and then we get down here. And they tell us what technologies they're using or they're testing out in this showcase. And I'm go I am got some stuff to show you here. All right, so uh, you can actually click on the left side of here and it brings up kind of what they were looking at back then when it was tested, all right? So this is one of the technologies. I'm not gonna play this whole thing, but tell me what you feel about this technology. Does this feel like this is a trillion dollar game changing payment system? Check us out. The central idea of a market is simple. Within a set of rules, buyers and sellers trade goods and services at price. Some of these rules come into a transaction from sources other than the buyers and sellers themselves, from governments, loyalty programs, or financial intermediaries. And that process is anything but simple. So how exactly are all the correct rules selected and applied ahead of payment initiation? Now, for some types of rules, there are advanced subscription-based rules automation services. They may supply rules for point systems, taxes, credit... Okay, this one's painful, guys, but I mean, it, it's, it's not a super... Uh, um, a sophisticated system. Uh, it's kind of uh, taking balances and moving them back and forth inside of a you know a closed loop system. All right, so uh, this is as algorithms foundation. You also have CGI on here, and we know CGI has since partnered with Ripple, which is really interesting. Uh, you can actually click on here and see kind of what they put out. Um, it, it's kind of a it's kind of a you know YouTube video with it, it doesn't have any kind of talking. It just kind of plays through, uh, but it's interesting. You see. 
you see Ripple connected in here, right? Uh, that's the, so I just think that's funny, right? You have Ripple connected to one of them, right? Cyber money. Now, this one is funny, guys. This is cyber money. Let me the show you this. The future of digital payments is here. Look. Presenting cyber money. This, the merchant simply this is what they tested. cyber money from their point of sale terminal or any mobile device used for point of sale checkout. The customer selects cyber money on their personal mobile phone or wearable device. Does it sound like it's an AI talking, like a British AI? It sounds like that to me. The total amount of purchase is presented to the customer's device. Cyber money. Okay. So we know this is really not a game-changing technology. You can actually go in here and look the uh, about, and these are the people that are, are there and sponsor this and, you know, cyber bank advisors, you know. All right. So... This wasn't super impressive to me either. Um, D and D plus H. Do you know who D plus H is? Check this out. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna freak when I show you this, right? So let me show you this. D plus H. So uh, D plus H. Originally, David and Henderson was a Canadian global payments and lending technology provider, nearly serving 8,000 financial institutions. When you come down here to the dnh.com website, you know what it pulls up? I'll I'll show you. It's it's really fun. You ready? Yeah. It's fucking Finastro. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, I, that that was that's juicy. That that's a that's a juicy juicy piece right there, right? Because we know the Finastra system. Let me show you this. Hold on. All right. So Ripple, uh, Finastra plus Ripple, fact sheet, payments connectivity marketplace, manage cross border payments easier with RippleNet via Fusion Total Messaging. Here it is. Fee, uh, 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 Finastra Fusion Messaging with Ripple Net Cloud. Now. I'm going to have people in the comments saying, RippleNet doesn't mean XRP. You're absolutely right, and thank you for paying attention. But if you want instant settlement, you need XRP. Now, RippleNet is a messaging service that competes with Swift that still doesn't solve the instant settlement process. So you need XRP if you want to do that, friends, okay? So, um, you know, I love the comments, guys, but I'm just trying to maybe save some of the, uh, the uh, other comments. All right, so... We know who D plus H is. That's Finastro. So we got CGI and Finastro, both Ripple partners on this list already. Okay. And then faster payments rules, Echo. This is more of like a government uh, agency. You can visit echo.org here. I'm going to show you. It's, it's from the clearinghouse, right? So uh, Echo, we are the check experts, right? So they're, they're more on the check side of things, which doesn't really make me think they're in the cross-border institutional payments in payments space. Um, but remember, right? Domestic payments could use uh, instant payments too. You can also go to the clearinghouse here and see the partners in the clearinghouse. And they actually, you'd be surprised if you go in here, right? Bottom line, um, uh, you also have Volante in here, guys. Um, CGI is in here. ACI Universal Payments, guys. Those are all Ripple partners through this as well, which I thought I found was really interesting. Just some extra information for you to take back with you. Uh, let me go ahead and hit back here so I can go back to this document and show you. All right, so we keep going. So Frank J. Viston is just a person. Uh, he has this virtual processing design, but I've looked through this person's website and they're they're not anywhere close okay and then you have instant uh independent facilitator payment rules and standards from nacha nacha is a uh, u.s payment system it processes about 72 trillion dollars a year all right and then we scroll down a little bit ncr faster payments right let's go ahead and find out what ncr is i mean none of this stuff screams like uh it is game changing or or just it, it's it's very plain it's very basic uh, when I try to check some of these websites and different things, guys, it's pretty, pretty bad. All right. Um, but, you know, they, the United States could could use something like this or this could be an option inside of the, the FedNow system. But it's just. Yeah. All right. And then you have Ripple. Right. We all know Ripple. We talk about it a lot. You have uh, Soupy Pay Inc. by Mashula, uh, Mashula Group. Let me show you this. So you kind of get the point of what we're dealing with here, guys, right? Some of this stuff is pretty impressive and some of it's not impressive at all, right? And so, um, 
you know, you start kind of going through this showcase description, the basis of uh, Supi Pay's engineering solutions and deep um, meta metaphysical understanding of the functions of money. All functions are tightly integrated into the centralized electronic control center. See, the, the, the interesting part about all this, guys, is I've seen so many documents and I've never, ever seen this, this, this company or this system. In, in, in anything to do with the Fed under, other, other than this. And there's also Teron by Calipin. Uh, the Teron Technology Toolkit delivers true real-time transactions, i.e. Uh, completed in a single session, uh, encompassing uh, settlement, clearing, and authorization, and payment services, right? So here's this one. Six minutes, man. It does so by offering technology comprising rails and services operating on those rails, a tool set for ongoing innovation and competition between service providers. The criteria set out for the Faster Payments Initiative match play. Look at this. They have 13 subscribers on this on this company's YouTube page. Do you think the federal government is using this technology? No. No, they're not. All right. Uh, you have a couple more here, guys, right? You have ACI Worldwide. We know they are Ripple partners, so I don't really need to dig into that. But you also have the token faster payment system. Token provides a new digital payments network that is modern, secure, instant, open, reachable worldwide with support of cross-border payments. Let's take a look at who these people are. Hi, I'm Steve Kirsch, the CEO of Token. I'm delighted to share our story with you today. First, a little bit of background. I'm a high-tech serial entrepreneur who has pioneered many key computer technologies, including the optical mouse, desktop publishing, and internet search. My co-founder, Yogi Benjamin, was the global CTO for Citigroup. Our company is funded by former and current executives at Google, Facebook, and Xiaomi. Just over a year ago, we assembled a small army of very talented engineers from banks and places like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Stanford, and MIT, and gave them a very ambitious assignment. Redesign the payment infrastructure for the world. Did you know that all of our primary... This is one of the technologies that I do think is probably going to be integrated into Fed, or is already integrated into Fed now. Payment systems in the U.S. were all conceived over 50 years ago, before the invention of the Internet. Our goal was to incorporate all the great ideas from the last 50 years into our design. Our design approach was to start with a clean sheet of paper and design an elegant payment system that could last the next 100 years. It would be a system that would meet the needs of regulators, banks, businesses, developers, and consumers. Now, we started by making a short check. All right, so I'm not going to play this whole thing, guys, because I can't, I'm not going to leave you here for six minutes, but there's also Wing Cash, all right? I want to show you Wing Cash. Most people take cash for granted, but there's a lot more to cash than you think. Let's say you owe a friend $20. When you meet her, you give her the bill from your wallet to put in her wallet. That $20 is hers to spend immediately. Here's the hidden beauty of this transaction. First, there are no fees. $20 is $20. Second, it's visible. You can both see exactly. All right, you guys are gonna get the picture here, right? I mean, none of this technology is very, very impressive, but Ripples, right? And and Ripple Partners, right? ACI Worldwide here, guys, is, is a giant, right? I've got, I've shown you all these connections with ACI, uh, with um, you know Finastro, with all of these guys uh, for, through many, many videos, and we're not gonna get in that today. But what I want to say is, take a step back and realize when you hold XRP, you are holding the key to the financial future of the world. In, 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 in a very short order, that's what you're holding, right? Because whether Ripple gets 10 central banks, 20 central banks, or 50 central banks, whatever central banks are using Ripple and XRP to move value, those central banks will have a much bigger advantage over using some of this other technology, all right? Um, also, which is really cool, guys, is if you scroll a little bit down further, it says U.S. payment systems not intended to be all inclusive. Table C gives an overview of key features of major payment systems in the United States today. So this is going to help us understand how much money is moving around in the United States today. Now this is several years old, so take that into consideration. So it's probably moved up a bit because of uh, you know inflation and, and people and and and, and, um, uh, and stimulus money and all this stuff. There's a lot of money going around. So um, what does this do? Volume transaction, right? Example. So this is the wire credit push system uh, and they clear compared with other payment types wires represent a small number of participants but very high value in 2015 there's about 253 million wire payments in the united states totaling about 1.2 trillion dollars <throat> yes you heard that right 1.2 quad trillion dollars is what they what they processed in one year and then we move on to the automated clearing house ACH credit push and pull uh, debit pool uh, department. And uh, this is kind of a, uh, a system who, who they kind of uh, deal with, right? Business to business, person to person. In 2015, approximately 23.5 billion ACH payments, total of about 145 trillion dollars. All right, let's continue. Cards, debit pool. So this is about 5.7 trillion with 103 billion transactions. You have checks. Ugh. 
25.83 trillion. Those will be probably be replaced soon enough. Um, and then you have cash, which really, you can't really track, track that too well. Um, and then you have information about wire here. They don't really give you totals anymore on wire and ACH because I guess they gave us a, a above there, but uh, they kind of break down kind of all of these just key, key categories that they're talking about. And then they say end notes, right? Um, but you know, what I gather from this guys is that the United States government was really needing their blockchain infrastructure partner to have clear rules and regulation, or clear rules, excuse me, not regulation, for the XRP token. Now, I get a lot of comments saying, you know, Sensei, when are banks buying in? When is this going to happen? When is this going? So what we're having right now with, with US banks cannot buy XRP from escrow, from Ripple, without permission from the SEC. Okay, that's fact. So. Ripple can still sell escrowed XRP outside of the US. And also, Ripple could probably find a way because certain sales are not considered, you know, that they don't have to disclose uh, to the SEC. So I'm wondering, and get permission. So I'm wondering if David Schwartz is going to come up with a new way through programmatic sales to offer, uh, you know, XRP to some of these institutions. But you have to understand this you don't have regulation yet in the US. So where does that leave banks? That banks, at least that still leaves banks a little unsure about, you know, if they are able to hold these assets without getting, you know, heat from the SEC or the government. So I do think it's going to take some time here. And I do think you have Congress voting on two bills this week, uh, this, this month in Congress in the United States. And I'm going to go do another video right after this one and talk to you about that. But understand where you're sitting right now. You're sitting right before the global regulation takeover, whether that takes six to 12 months. You're, you're, you're sitting right at the bottom and you're going to be looking up like this as the chart explodes over the next couple years, right? I don't know if FedNow is going to send XRP into a high price. I'm, I'm thinking when it, when it originally launches, it's not going to do very much. But as more and more banks get added to it, as cross-border functionality gets added to it, you're going to see the price of XRP rise because you're going to see the use of XRP on a massive scale, right? Right now, you have $250 million going through ODL. 250 million a week. It's a billion dollars a month. A billion dollars is a drop in the bucket. I showed you all of these different payment systems and how much money they move, some of the biggest Ripple partners, and it's in the quadrillions, guys. So have some perspective, zoom out, right? If you're here for a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, great. You'll probably see that somewhat, somewhat soon. But I'm not here for three dollars or five dollars. I'm here for the big money. I'm here to stake my XRP in liquidity pools and earn yield. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough XRP and value to, to go through PolySign and get some yield through PolySign and, and have them do some custody for my XRP. Uh, I did a great interview with Jake Claver and we talked a lot about that uh, in some previous videos if you guys want to check those out. But I'm going to wrap this one up. It's about almost 20 minutes and I know you guys got something else better to do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Appreciate you. If you made it to the end, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe and share with somebody you know. I love y'all. Peace.